I've done that before. I've not done that a lot, but I have done that. Um, How are you guys? <laughs> I agree. I haven't met you before, though. No, but I'm excited. Hey, guys! So hey. I could relate to so many things in this movie, especially one thing. When you were coming back from that party, squeaking in, yes. <laughs> trying to... How, have you guys done that a lot? Um, I've done that before. I've not done that a lot, but I have done that. Um, and usually I was able to make it in okay. Have you... That happened to you before? Yes, but it's always like one point in the floor where it starts squeaking, and then you're like... Oh. We have to know the spots. That's <laughs> yeah. the key. <laughs> You kept Yeah, I mean, like Nick said, I feel like everyone's had that experience. I didn't do it a lot, but um, definitely had it happen. You become quite a ninja, I feel, of your own house, quite familiar. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. all about knowing which step is the creaky one. and That's the key. And you have to have cool parents, obviously. That too. I was wearing a woman's sweater, mm. and he's drunk. Do you have cool parents in real life? Yeah, I do. I think it's. I think we both do. I don't, yeah. I don't think I... Did your parents... They came to visit once. Yeah, my yeah. parents came to visit. I feel like I, in hindsight, have really cool parents. Like, I look back and go, wow, you, like, they're great parents, they're amazing parents. But at the time, I wouldn't call them, like, cool parents as in, like, mean girls cool parents. Like, I didn't have Regina George's mom. They were very practical and they're great <laughs> parents, great parents. Same, yeah, very supportive. So are you guys as addicted to your phones <laughs> as these characters <laughs> are? <laughs> um... I feel like Simon's not, uh, well, I guess maybe he is towards the middle when he's in the relationship with uh, Blue. Mm. He's got that lifeline, I think. I think for a lot of kids, that's what their phone is, is a lifeline to the outside world and to sort of share new ideas and meet new people. Um, but hopefully I'm not as addicted to my phone. That might not be the case, but uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that I'm not. And I'm, I feel like I'm slightly more removed. I mean, I try and keep relevant and know what's going on in the world, but I definitely am, am not addicted to my phone. <laughs> Do you think we can fall in love with someone that we haven't met like your character does? Is that possible to just fall in love with someone over writing? I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's possible. I think it's, uh, it's, not, it's probably not common, and I feel like you, know, you never are going to be able to have a, a, a real relationship um, until you actually are able to meet for the first time and see if this person that you've been talking to over the internet is the same person that is in front of you. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, becoming a, a more and more common now, too. You see a lot of relationships now that begin on the internet. Nobody knows I'm gay. <sighs> Why do you guys think it's so important to tell this story the way it's told? Because it's a great mm -hmm. story and it's a love story, but we haven't seen anything like this before. I think it, told this way well I mean I think you just said it. I think you know this is Love Simon it's the first major studio making a mainstream love story coming of age story about a gay teenage protagonist and I think it's a story that has been needed for a while and is in ways overdue but I think now more than ever it's an important story to tell and give to mainstream audiences because people are not only in need of it but asking for it and I think I think now how we're able to communicate and be joined and united over things like social media and how the world feels in a sense very global, um, I think it's important to be able to tell these stories and have representation. I think just representation in general, whether it's about um, you know uh, race or gender or sexual orientation, it's important for people to be able to see their stories and, and hear and, and see people who look like them because in ways I think that's what makes us feel not alone and, and a lot of the times it kind of, it gives you the confidence to be who you are because you feel like you're not the only one. Do you ever feel weird? Weird? Did you ever hesitate, Nick, to take on the part? Um, I, I wouldn't call it hesitation. I mean, I had concerns, but those were very quickly uh, put aside after talking with Greg. Um, I think that uh, he really championed this movie, and I, I think he brought, it kind of comes from the top down, and I think that everyone involved really felt that, that there was, it was never something that, you know, once I was there, it was, it, it, it really came uh, fairly naturally, and if there ever were days where I had doubts or hesitation, Greg was there to sort of remind everybody of why we were making this. 
Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank I you really so much. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.